Interestingly enough, Tyrone Woodley isn't actually a boxer either. Well, yet at least. Tyrone is an MMA fighter, but unlike Ben Askren, he's so scary. He's not All right. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Rick, back with a brand new reaction. Before we get started, man, go and smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, man, and leave a comment on what else you want me to react to. Celebrities react to Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. A fight's gonna be coming up in about 22 days. August 30th, I believe, or something like that, man. Coming up, coming quick. All right, and things about to get, <laughs> things about to get crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, things are really boiling up. Jake Paul has been training hard. Tyron Woodley's been training hard, man. You know, the intensity is building, man, it's building. So we're gonna react to this man, celebrities react to Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley fight. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for your new man. Let's get it. Let's go. Woodley should knock him out. But again, the Tyron Woodley you talk about that, that was the champ isn't the same guy he was, you know, four years ago. It seems like the Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley fight is approaching at an accelerating rate, and we can't wait. Stick around to Quick. find out what your favorite celebrities are saying about the upcoming fight. Before we get started, we wanted to point out that in our last few videos covering this topic, we said the fight was coming up on August 29th, 2021. The fight is actually taking place 29. on August 28th, 2021. We also stated that Jake Paul oh, offered shit, Conor McGregor his Sleepy McGregor chain when he actually offered it to Dustin Poirier. We're committed to making sure our videos are accurate and thank the viewers for pointing out these mishaps. Now that we've got that cleared up, let's hop right into the video. Jake Paul and Tyrone Woodley are going up against one another in a professional boxing match at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio on August 28th, 2021. This fight is highly anticipated, with many people saying they believe it's Jake's first fight with a worthy opponent. I think even like, um, you know, I agree. the Sidemen kid wrote to Shaw and has said the other day, he's like, once this one's done, this is the one. Once this one's done, put respect you can't, on him. You can't. And honestly, I was already kind of there with Ben before the fight, but then Ben walked in looking like a <laughs> Burger King blimp. Jake has a flawless record, but many believe Literally, this is because of the shape. caliber of opponents Jake is choosing to go up against. He first fought Anson Gibb at the Meridian at Island Gardens in Miami, Florida on January 30th, 2020. Though Anson is not a boxer, he's a fellow YouTuber. Next, Jake fought Nate Robinson at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California Whooped on November 28th, 2020, Man. who's a retired basketball player. Last but definitely not least, Jake went up against Ben Askren at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia on April 17th, 2021, who's a retired MF. Interestingly enough, Tyrone Woodley isn't actually a boxer either. Well, yet at least. Tyrone is an MMA fighter, but unlike Ben Shit, Askren, he's so is not retired. Tyrone is still currently fighting as an MMA fighter, but has admitted that he's viewing this fight with Jake so Paul active. as a new career opportunity, which he may use to transition into boxing primarily. Tyrone is smart to step up smart in normal competition, and everyone knows it, even Jake. During a press conference both parties appeared at, an interviewer asked Jake if he was aware of the challenge he was presenting himself with, which surprisingly, Jake responded yes to. He even went on to praise Tyrone, acknowledging his skills as an MMA fighter, before, of course, continuing to insult and threaten him. Skill level, I want to challenge this is a legitimate Chris knockout Oswald? artist. This is a legitimate knockout artist. You know, he he was boxing while while I was on Disney Channel. You know, he's been boxing probably four or five times as long as me. But August 29th, Cleveland, Ohio, in my True. hometown, you you will see a boxing clinic be put on, and this man doesn't go more than three rounds. Jake might not really know the severity of what's about to hit him, though. No pun intended. Tyrone's fight history is much more complex consisting exclusively of other MMA fighters, which already puts him a step above Jake. He's also got over 20 wins under his belt, while Jake is boasting about his three. Not to mention, Tyrone Woodley was once the welterweight champion, retaining its title four times before he was finally stripped of it. Jake's older brother, Logan, has commented on this progressive ladder Jake seems four to be times? climbing, Jesus. but praising him for it. Logan said in an interview that he thinks what Jake is doing is actually a good idea strategically leveling up the caliber of his opponents to gradually test himself and improve. Hopefully it does indeed work out like that. But I, I, I like what Jake is doing. I like what Jake is doing because he's slowly and very strategically leveling up the guys he's fighting at his own pace. Mm -hmm. That's what people... I'll pause it real quick. This is smart, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely very, very smart. Um, smart business moves, you know what I'm saying? 
and it's smart skill development, you know? So, but these Paul brothers are out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not only are they making money, but they're they're developing their boxing skills. You know, Logan Paul, after he fought Floyd Mayweather, I'm sure Logan Paul must have learned something. He must have got something out of that fight, you know? <clears throat> Some nice little uh, experience. Another family member who's chimed in is actually Tyrone's mom, Deborah. She, of course, is on the side of her son and has praised him for his training, but doesn't seem to really be a fan of the trash-talking routine played out before these big fights. Instead, she was supportive of the sport in general, cheering her son on, but encouraging Jake Paul's followers to cheer him on and give him the support he needs as well. Playing things nice isn't exactly how either of the fighters are looking at things, though. For one, there's over a million dollars on the line. That's enough to make a pacifist Damn. get ready to throw down. Secondly, Tyrone's reputation over is at stake as he tries to move over into the new lane of boxing. If he comes out swinging and takes down his first opponent, even if it is Jake Paul, he'll be met by the boxing world with a hint of legitimacy. However, if he gets taken down by Jake Paul, the YouTuber, who so far has only fought other amateurs or retirees, he may never be taken seriously as a fighter again. Tyrone knows the pressure is on though, and is not letting his confidence turn into arrogance. He's still training ruthlessly with another star we all know and love that probably won't surprise you. That's right, we're talking about Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather previously Money went up against Jake's older brother, Logan Paul, in an exhibition match. Whooped his ass. At a press conference, <laughs> Jake Paul snatched Floyd Mayweather's hat and was immediately jumped by his team, being left with a bloody mouth and black eye. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork for this bug. Get, get Al Hayman. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't need Al Hayman. Let me call Al Hayman. I'm my own Let's boss. I'm my own boss. One night. Got your hat. Oh. Got your hat. This apparently didn't teach Jake anything, though, considering he then got a tattoo mocking the situation and repeatedly calling out Floyd Mayweather to fight. Mayweather hasn't accepted these requests, but has expressed at least a slight bit of interest. If Jake goes down in this fight against Tyrone Woodley, there's a good chance it'll be a long while, if ever, before he goes up against Mayweather. However, with Floyd choosing to train Tyrone while also showing possible interest in a fight with Jake, some would conclude a Jake versus Mayweather fight would be the logical next step should Jake Paul win. Dana White also has a few words on the fight. Tyrone Woodley doesn't look like, you know, the Tyrone Woodley of the past that was, that was putting everybody to sleep. He hasn't won a fight in three years. He's gonna be 40 years old, you know, but I, I, will, I will give it to him. He's at least stepping in there with a guy who can punch. After Jake Paul started a bit of a conflict. At a press conference, Jake apparently told a reporter to tell Dana White that Tyrone Woodley getting cut from the UFC was the best thing ever because he's about to get his biggest paycheck of all time for fighting a YouTuber. Dana laughs and said that he's been hearing that crap, but it's all lies. Asking if it's so much money, how much is it? In response to the lack of clarification on exactly how much the fighters are being awarded if they win. While the general public seems to be under the impression that Tyrone has this in the bag, Jake Paul has been training as hard as he can for the upcoming brawl, so it may be more of a fair fight than we think. The two are both promising a knockout on the other, with neither of them believing the fight will last any longer than three of the eight scheduled rounds. Again, three, the Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley fight is happening at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Jake Paul's hometown of Cleveland, Ohio on August 28, 2021. Tickets are already on sale right now, starting at $10 and the event will be live, streamed as a pay-per-view event. This concludes today's video on celebrities reacting to the Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley fight. Whenever Jake Paul and Tyrone Woodley finally step into the ring on August 28th, who will you be cheering on? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Immediately I'm like, well, there goes that comrade. Well, damn, that's the reaction, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that, man. Let me know in the comments of who you think is gonna win, man. Looks like things are definitely building up. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for your new man, Bigger TV. We're going to the top, and we out. Peace.